the forehead of your robot. I never thought such an innocent looking game could be so terrifying. I mean, Roblox was pretty much corrupt as it is. Exploiters right and left, users everywhere coming up with the alternative swear words just to suit their limited vocabulary, and all that stuff. And now bots are somehow inviting themselves onto your friends list without you even accepting a request. Then they send you free Robux scams non-stop. But if you were to dig deeper into the inappropriate activity players would partake in, you would find some very disturbing things. Demon summoning rituals flew right under the developers' noses of course. There is no way they can monitor a player's actions without them being reported, and in private games, it was hard to encounter a snitch. The same applies in private messaging. You may think I'm over-exaggerating, but what I'm about to tell you, will make you think twice. It's been a week since I played Roblox, and I may not play it for a long time. I spent most of my time on the site scheming through games, and not spending more than half an hour on each. I was never really a fan of Roblox, I simply downloaded it shortly after my younger brother did out of curiosity. I was disappointed to find it was nothing like Minecraft, but I do admit, I enjoyed it quite a bit. It was around Christmas time when I discovered this mysterious game called, Sleeping Soundly, which I found when clicking on an ad box that was completely black, and had a strange white symbol on it. The symbol seemed reminiscent of a poorly sketched avatar, his head hanging low as if depicting the feeling of sadness. I shrugged and clicked on the ad, and sure enough it took me to the game. There was a single screenshot, displaying the classic Roblox city map. The description read. Shh, be careful not to disturb the residents, they are resting. For some reason I felt a sense of paranoia. I quickly shook it off and clicked play. Before long I spawned in. I appeared to be in a flat grass world. A few feet in front of me was a white picket fence that seemed to stretch on for miles. Beyond the fence was my long rows of gravestones that were spaced out evenly. The strange thing was that each gravestone I could see had different names on them. The hairs upon my neck stood on end as I realized these names belonged to famous people who died a long time ago. Also, the gravestones were arranged by the birth to death dates of the recognizable people who were once alive. I had done some research just to confirm that statistic. As for the skybox, it was grey with a few dark clouds. The place was certainly creepy, but I was still curious. I attempted to hop over the fence but to no avail. Stupid barriers. I walked along the fence in search of something else besides all those gravestones. I seemed to be going backwards as the dates were getting farther off, and the gravestones seemed to be getting worn and cracked. Before long the text upon them began to fade. About three minutes later, I came to what looked like the entrance of the large-scale graveyard. The entrance was made up of an open gate and a golden-colored sign, which said, Sea of the Dead. I chuckled, marking it as a rather cheesy name for a graveyard. I stepped in and continued to walk forward. I saw many names I had heard of. Abraham Lincoln, Adolf Hitler, Mahatma Gandhi, bless his soul, Elvis Presley, and many others I didn't recognize. As I continued to stroll through the graveyard, I began to feel more afraid. I didn't really know what was causing the sudden fear besides the rather unsettling scenery. It wasn't enough to make me exit the game however. At one point, I did see the silhouette of a figure running along the gravestones beyond stalking me. I would turn to see nothing but gravestones. I checked the server list, and to my unnerving dismay, I appeared to be the only one there. To my surprise, I did find something besides eternal rows of gravestones. There was an entity that stood in front of a grave, completely still. The entity was completely white, and it held a wilting rose. I walked around it a bit before getting bored and went back to my journey. There was no turning back now, I knew there was more to be discovered. It wasn't long before I came across a small log cabin, which I assume was placed in the center of the large-scale graveyard. I reluctantly went inside it to find an empty room, lit by a single candle on the ground. But then I noticed yet another player model in the corner of the room which was shrouded in darkness. I walked up to it, and a talk bubble appeared. I clicked on it, and the player model within the darkness said, Hello. 
a few options appeared on the bottom left side of my screen, goodbye, and, where am I? I, of course, clicked the second option, and the NPC responded with, Sea of the Dead, it is a graveyard holding many familiar names of fallen people. That's where the chat ended. I stepped out of the cabin, and was about to leave when I saw something, something that wasn't there before. It was a gravestone like many others, but it had a familiar name on it. This is the point in which my blood ran cold, and all the muscles in my body tensed up. I simply stared at my screen, gawking. Stephen Harmony, 2004-2017. My little brother. All of a sudden, the white player model I saw from before, stepped out from behind the gravestone. A demonic voice rang throughout my headphones. I couldn't exactly make out what the white NPC was saying, since there was a bunch of static. It was something between the lines of, What's the matter? Don't you miss him? And with that, I was kicked from the game. After I gathered the courage to go back into the game and do more investigating, and report the horrid creation, I was disappointed to find the game mysteriously disappeared. That's when I stopped playing Roblox. How was this possible? Could this game somehow have been connected to some network that stores death records? I honestly have no clue. The point is, there is some unfathomable, terrifying phenomenons lurking within the game. Who knows what kind of illegal things go on in Roblox. I still have trouble processing what I saw. The purpose of this post is to make people aware of such things. A warning, if you will. I don't know how my brother's name and death date got compromised, but one thing is for sure, people on the internet seeking to cause chaos, have more power than the administrators themselves. None of us are safe right now.